Today's blog is a follow-up on one that I did yesterday where I showed you how to create a workflow with Power Automate that will um, check your emails um, and it actually checks the subjects of emails if the word invoice um, exists. It then saves the document for you to a specific folder in your Microsoft Teams. So in Teams, I've got a channel called Accounts Payable, which is my first folder level in the Shared Documents Library. And in that, I've got separate folders. And this is the one that I created the workflow on yesterday that the email puts the attachments in that folder. So what I'd like to achieve today is that when new documents are created in that folder or stored in that folder, it then must then start an approval process that moves it to the next folder. So it's a kind of a staging that you can do um, to move documents through a certain process um, to get approvals on it or sign off or part of your recon. So if I look at uh, Power Automate, I've gone to templates and I've searched for move folder approval. And you'll see that there's a, a template here, start an approval for new file to move it to a different folder. And that's the one that we're going to use. So there we go. It's authenticated my credentials um, for the different apps or connectors that it needs to use. So we'll click continue to create. Now, of course, the first thing before we even take a look at the actions and triggers in this workflow is that I always rename my um, workflows so that it makes sense to me. So, um, approval on submitted invoices in finance Microsoft team. So um, the first section here that you look at is the trigger. So it's monitoring a specific folder, a specific site. Because remember, SharePoint is the storage behind your Microsoft team. Um, so that's the trigger. As soon as there's a new file, what must it do? It then goes and says, I want to start an approval process. So it's got a title. This is your subject uh, to the email. It's got an assigned to. It's got details as well. So please approve the file, etc. And then it's got a link to the item that people can open as well to check. And then if you scroll down, um, here's a condition. It says that when um, the response on the approval is approved, what must it then do? It then says go and create a file in the next folder. So if I say next folder, that would be my second folder. So this is where the document gets stored. And then I want to move it to um, approved. And then um, it's got to delete the file in the old. So it doesn't technically move the fi um, file. It actually creates a new file in the other folder and then deletes the file in the first folder that it was put into. So um, let's take a look at setting this up. So let's just uh, collapse these different areas here and let's focus on the first thing. So of course, this is the site where your team is. If you click on the drop down and you don't see your team between the recent ones there, the easiest way to get that URL that you see there is to go to the team and um, go to the file section and click on open in SharePoint and then copy the um, site address all the way to uh, you'll see there sites forward slash and then the name. So mine would be finance if you don't see it in this drop down. I can see mine there. So there's my um, site URL and then I can also select the folder. Now remember these will point to the channels and then the subfolders. So I'm going to click on the folder to expand that and you're going to look for the shared documents um, first level folder. That's the library that sits behind the channels. So I'm going to expand that and then um, it's my accounts payable channel and in there I wanted to monitor invoices submitted. So that's where the workflow puts uh, the new documents or the new invoices. So that's the folder it's going to uh, to monitor. So let's just collapse that. And then when I go to start approval, I can then change this as well. So I can say um, approve newly submitted invoice. So that's just your email subject. Assign to, for now I'm going to just assign it to myself. Um, then uh, details. So this is the details in the email. Please approve if the file is ready for prime time. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, please approve the newly submitted invoice. Okay. And there it's got the file name already. So it shows the file name. And then the item link, there's a little bit of a, a trick that you have to add to this. I'm going to need the site URL for this. So just to uh, recap that again, um, if you open up your site from Teams and you copy the URL, so if you go open in SharePoint and you copy the URL from the top of the site, 
I want you to copy the full URL up into the end of your site name. So it'll be sites forward slash finance in my example. So um, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put the link in there first. You can see it goes all the way up to sites forward slash finance. And then behind that, I'm going to add the file path. So first, just make sure that there's a forward slash as well. So it's your full site um, URL with the, with the team name, then forward slash. And then behind that, I'm going to add the file path. So this allows you to open the document from the email to check it. And then the item link description, of course, you could just choose the file name or you can add another name there if you wanted to. Then um, let's just collapse that and check the next step. So then the condition is that when it is approved, what must we do? So I'm going to do exactly the same here. I'm going to add that site of mine. So the folder path now is the new folder path that must move it to. So I'm going to go to site doc, um, share documents, um, accounts payable. And now, of course, it's going to be moved from invoices submitted. I wanted to move it to invoices approved. And then it's got the file name and content there already. And then again, the um, delete file, again, I'm going to just choose the site where it must delete it. And that, of course, is my same team site because I'm working on the same site. It's not different site collections that I'm working on. So it'll delete the existing file. And that's why it says file identifier. And it will create a new file in the second folder that I want to have um, the approvals in. So uh, let's save this. You'll see that there's a little message there. It brings up and says actions on this flow may result in an infinite trigger loop. Please ensure that you add appropriate conditional checks to prevent this flow from triggering itself. Um, that's an important thing to realize because uh, if you accidentally put the file back in the same place, the workflow will go into a loop, if that makes sense, because it creates a new file and then the workflow starts up again. But because I'm moving it to a different folder and I'm deleting it in the old one, it shouldn't go into a loop. So then um, I'm going to go back and then I'm just going to do a test. Let's just make sure that it's saved. And then I'm going to just do a test. So I'm not going to run that whole workflow again that I did yesterday. So I'm going to just go to my team. Um, I'm not going to, like I said, run the workflow from my email. So I'm going to go to invoices submitted and I'm going to manually just upload a document. So I'm going to go upload. There we go. So once the invoices is loaded, yeah, whether I manually uploaded it or whether my email stored it there because it uh, had a trigger, it should then start the workflow. So let's just uh, give it a couple of seconds to get that going. So there you can see it's uh, started running a workflow, which means I should pretty soon receive an email. For now, I've set myself up as the person who receives the email. We can, in a future blog, we can take a look at uh, making that email of the person that must approve it more dynamic. So uh, at the moment, it's hard coded on the workflow, if that makes sense to you, because I've actually physically put it in on the template of the person that must approve it. So there we go. I've received my invoice or my, uh, my email to approve. So there we go. There's uh, the email for... Uh, the workflow and you'll see it says uh, the details please approve the um, invoice it gives the link to the invoice as well so um, that's the link that it's actually populated and you'll see here it's going to open the invoice of course it's just a test document so the person can check the document and then um, go back to this and then of course there's an approve and reject button there as well so if I click on approve I can even give reasons and I can then um, submit it. The nice thing is, is it actually changes the email once you've submitted it. It changes the look and feel of the email. So that's pretty clever by Microsoft so that you don't get confused by which of the tasks you haven't done yet. It actually says that it was um, submitted already. So that's pretty nifty. And if this now works, then it means it should be moving that document. It should uh, create a new document in the second folder and should delete the document in the old folder. And then um, we can look at this um, runs as well. So just to show you um, the process that it actually goes through. So it does say that it uh, ran successfully. So it said when a file was created, so that was checked. It said it started the approval. So that's already um, happened. 
So it said it was approved. And um, the condition there, did it create the file? Did it delete the file? Absolutely did do that. So let's take a look in Teams and see if that worked. So there we go. Here's the file that I um, that I loaded. Let's just um, go back to Accounts Payable and then go back into Invoices Submitted. So th there we go, and it's gone. And then Accounts Payable, let's go to Invoices um, Approved. It should now lay in the Invoices Approved folder. So that's pretty nifty. So now the nice thing that you can do is, um, and you'll see there it's uh, succeeded. So that worked beautifully. The nice thing that you can do is you can go to your flows and let's say you want to create a second workflow now that um, looks at moving this to the third level, which means invoice is ready um, for recon. Okay, it's just a scenario, a third staging. I would personally not modify that flow. I would rather create a second flow. Um, personal opinion. So you could add the actions on there and say that if this then happens, then do this. Um, but I would much rather go and um, save a copy. So save as, and then go modify that to look at the second folder and to move the second um, the file to the third folder, if that makes sense. I would much rather copy that. And this would be step one. And then the second one would be step two. So I would save it as a copy and modify it to look at the second folder, just change the um, details. So that was a pretty cool little workflow. I think it's something that you definitely can use. It looks at approving documents and then um, moves it to different folders. And in my case, I used Microsoft Teams as an example. Um, you can, of course, move it between channels as well. It doesn't have to be subfolders. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, we'll chat soon. See you tomorrow.